Well, I'm getting ready to put the uh, box into the car now, and I just wanted to make this quick little uh, note of uh, the process of making sure that you, when you do put your uh, weather tight uh, pass throughs onto your wires and onto your box, to uh, make sure to put them in the correct orientation such that you have the, uh, the weather gasket right here, and then you have the compression fitting on the outside. This is weather tight on the outside. This side, of course, is weather tight, but um, you can also see that you've got a lot more room uh, uh, taken up on the outside than on the inside. Uh, and do this before you get your end onto your wire, otherwise you will be having to cut it back off and uh, redoing your end. Now, onto the donor car, the test subject. Uh, I was going to have this go directly to the battery itself, but it turns out it's just a little bit too short, as is always the case. So I'm going to have these uh, coupled on the outside of the box. Um, but uh, the real challenge is going to be this stupid block. Um, I mean, I, I shouldn't say stupid, it's just frustrating, because this originally bolted onto the side of the, uh, the top post, uh, had a little uh, assembly that this bolted onto. I'm thankful that it did that, but um, as a consequence, I had to create a new mounting point for this, which I wasn't really wanting to have to do. But you'll notice I've got two fuses on here, and the output wires have got a total of four, which I'm just not going to second guess and mess with. I'm leaving this completely intact. Uh, I'm going to clean up my contact a little bit, and you'll see how that actually ends up going together. But uh, there's the next step in it all. Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, you know got this on here. It is soldered uh, with uh, you know I put in the solder, put in some flux, uh, fluxed up my wire, soldered the tar out of it. So uh, this is a quite secure joint, and uh, we'll be moving on.